Just gonna do a quick video on uh, how I etched my name in it. I had a buddy ask me how I was how I did it, and we basically got the same idea. And uh, used to give me a lot of grief, but now that I got the Personalizer Plus and machine, it's uh, which is right there. My etching problems are are over. I got these stencils made from, uh, where do I get them from, IMG, I believe. Really good quality stencils. Gotta get that lined up on that blade as close as you can. Where you want it, because once, uh, once you start, you're committed. Put a couple pieces of tape on there just for secure. I use this Electrolyte 94 for my Electrolyte. Pour it in a little margin container that I ripped in half. It's just a piece of carbon that's hooked up to my Personalizer Plus with the felt pad on it. Here's the ground clamp, just like welding. So I like to soak this thing pretty good. Make sure it's well soaked. And then dab a lot of it off. All the excess can come off. One thing a buddy of mine taught me to do was just spray it underneath with Windex. I turn it to about power three on the etch mark. You can see where it says etch, and we'll get to that later. Instead of just holding it straight down, wish I could do this. I just back and forth, back and forth. I don't know if you can hear that clicking in the back. That's my even treat, even heat, heat treating oven going. I got a couple Damascus folder blades in there that I'm just uh, running a two hour temper cycle. So let's just have a quick look. Nice thing about this is you can look anytime. You can see the name. You can feel how deep it is. I think I need to go a little bit more. It's not quite as deep as I like it. There, that's as deep as I want it. Now I'm gonna change it over to Mark. Now just hardly any pressure at all. Just the weight of the carbon attachment and it's pretty good. Just a couple more seconds on there. Okay. That's good. Turn that off. There's my name. Windex neutralizes everything, so that's why I use Windex. Now I'll take that and I'll sand that uh, with 800 grit flat and uh, it'll be really sharp. That's it, that's all there is to it. Don't take long at all.